Hi everyone. So today is Hello Kathy, Kerry. <laughs> That's all. Today is um, December 30th and we are just doing the traditional things that we do for New Year's, which means we are prepping, well not we, I'm not, but Reed is prepping mandu, the inside of the mandu. We're going to be making mandu today. And then we're also going to be making some mochi as well. And mom is also um, prepping some nishime that she's making for tomorrow using grandpa's recipe that is on the channel. So we're just going to go and see what everyone's doing. Grandma here is next to me. She's just eating lunch. How are you doing, grandma? Mm -hmm. It's going to be 2022 in a couple days. Yeah. You're gonna be 99 this year. <laughs> how does how do you feel? Oh, I could be 100. No, not yet. You, this this next coming year, you're gonna be 99. <laughs> yeah. How you feel? Okay. Okay. I'm okay. She's okay. All right. So anyway, we're just gonna see what everyone's doing. Hi. So what are you doing right now to prep the mandu? We're, we're not dorothying it, but we're blanching the bean sprouts to kill any viruses that might be on them. And then um, we're going to chop them up. Alright. <coughs> hey mom, what are you doing right now? I'm prepping my chicken for my nishime that I'm making on New Year's for New Year's Day. So I'm not sure when I'm going to get to cook it, but at least it'll be ready. You're thinking ahead? I'm thinking ahead. I already made my kimpira gobo, and I will probably make the nama, uh, namasu, the cucumber namasu, tomorrow. Things we don't normally eat or make in this house. Wow. Yeah. Is that true? Impressive. Yeah. This is what the kitchen usually looks like when we're not cooking a video. Yes. Messy. Right now, I, right now I have here soaking some uh, mochi rice, and then I started that last night, so it should soak for at least eight hours. So um, I started soaking it, and then uh, about a half hour before you cook the rice, uh, let me just show you. We have a rice cooker here, and it's going. So the mochi uh, maker is this machine, it's already the water starting to boil and then it's really neat this machine, once it's, um, once it's done it'll start, there's a little paddle in there, it'll start mixing the rice and making, making it into uh, the, the mochi and it's going to come out as a ball and then we're going to put it in this uh, mochi cutter. You put the ball of mochi in here and then you just crank it and then it and it'll, uh, it'll come out on this side and then you cut it and then you can start to shape it. So it'll be, uh, we have all kinds of gadgets here to make the, facilitate making the mochi. We use, uh, we're using this spray oil to kind of grease the inside of this uh, mochi maker when I put the ball in so it doesn't, you grease the inside so it doesn't uh, stick to this, uh, the bowl, and the mochi will come out. Okay. Getting very adventurous, and we're trying peanut butter and chocolate. This is mom's peanut butter and chocolate, and this is the peanut butter and chocolate with um, Reese's Pieces peanut butter cups.
Yes, and they're I'm quite fun. Can I steal another pea? Oh yeah. yeah. Sure. Thank you so There's much. Yeah, I'll give you two. Ren is somewhat contributing. Absolutely, he's giving Here, me. Here, those two. There's two. Thank you. He's giving, keeping me company. Grandma. Grandma's Mom. making. You don't Maya. have. How's it going, Maya? You're like a pro, Oh yeah. How many years have you been doing this, Maya? Oh, like since um. Three years, four years ago, right? Four years ago. So if you want the recipe that Reed really used, it's already on the YouTube channel. Um, but this is a pork pork kimchi recipe. So no, I know. What is that for? He made how many pounds is this? Like three pounds of pork. Three pounds, but then adding everything else, it's like other. Yeah. So like probably about six pounds of food. It's probably about a good six pounds of food. So we're just making for the rest of the year, and we're gonna free ride eat some tonight. Reed's making a delicious mango soup, which also. So he's made already a recipe on his channel, How would you flatten and then uh, we're gonna freeze everything oh, else. So when we want mandu no, for the rest of the year, we have it. some. Close it as cleanly as possible. Can we try a miso? You want to try? Is this like a miso soup? Huh? Okay, so I'm trying Reed's mandu soup. He put in some tofu, some wakame, and of course, some mandu. Watercress, too. Watercress. I'm gonna break it, make sure it's cooked good. It's cooked. Mmm, the soup is good. Salty fish base. Very, very good and very warm. Pea tastes great. How's that? Sorry. Very, very good. Huh? Mm. Good job. What? Hey everyone, good morning. Happy New Year. It's the first day of 2022. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. So we are starting off our day. Well, we're starting, we have a late start, but we're going to be offering incense at Temple, uh, the temple where I grew up and I've been coming since, just coming to since I was really young. And then we're going to go to my mom's house for Ozoni. Yeah, um, hope you guys are all enjoying your New Year's and just excited for what's to come in 2022.
Happy New Year everyone! 2022 January 1st and so we're having ozoni this morning. I made my broth, it's ready. And so what we're putting into our ozoni is uh, Chinese cabbage. We're not using our mizu now. Um, we're using Chinese cabbage. Um, I have some of the um, dashi kombu that I've, I've sliced up and we like to use that as well. And um, shiitake mushrooms, these are fresh shiitake mushrooms, carrots and um, kamaboko and of course some green onions. And the last thing to do now is to get our mochi ready. You put in your dashi. So I use, I use this. So this morning, I used um, the um, SNS soup base with no MSG. So it's one packet for five cups of water and um, two t um, a tablespoon of shoyu, um, a half a teaspoon of salt. And then I also added in um, the whole carrots, like two or three whole carrots and the shiitake mushrooms to give it more flavor and the dashi kobu. Okay. And okay, we're gonna try this. I've never, I, I don't use, I usually use a microwave, so we'll see how it goes with this. If I put this in here, the mochi to soften it. Here's, a, here's this. Okay, so I'm gonna put the dashi. Mm -hmm. I have another dashi. for the new year and Ozumi I believe is good luck. What, is, what else does Ozumi stand for? Um, we always eat it at the beginning of every year. There's like meaning to everything in the book. There's yeah. From mushroom, carrot, cabbage. My favorite is the mochi of course. Okay, I got um a little mini one ready for who wants mm. a small one. Very good. Very, very delicious. Uh, who wants a little one? He's like really staring at the food though. Seriously, like he's like very interested in... Yeah, so it's red. Grandma, happy new year. Happy new year. Look, I, look at me, happy new year. What are you eating? Let yeah, me help you. Mm. I'll bring them. I, I work out this way. Richard, can we be It's very good. It's even better when you put a little wasabi in it. Oh, some zip. Yeah. 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 So we're making kinako mochi now, and it's, kinako is like a soybean powder. Right? Right. So yeah. we used the package which we already discarded. Yeah. But we used the whole package and we used about um, almost um, a third to half the volume of sugar added to this and, and some and salt. salt. Oh, salt. I didn't know that you put salt in here, yeah. but it's delicious. Yeah. And we're boiling the mochi and I have all the kinako plates ready. And we're gonna eat it soon. Oh, so much noise. There's a concert going on. Try to taste it. You have to taste it. Take, give me your hand. Okay, I'll taste it. I think it's sweet enough. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Mm. 
So the mochi is ready when it rises. The other way we do this is we put um, put it in the microwave. You know, but this is a new way. It's working so really it's gonna great. Float. It's going to float. Yeah, it floats. And then it's soft enough. This is from a former um, science teacher. Okay, this is kinako mochi. If you haven't tasted it before, it's kind of like how do they say like a peanut butter? I guess I don't know if that would be a good description, but it's really good. Mm, sweet, salty. It's like the best thing that you can put on mochi. So delicious. This is New Year's. Happy New Year's. The background, the background music. <laughs> oh, check some Michael eating. Michael's eating kinako mochi. You like this one? Oh, I got it. 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 I got it.